Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Alex and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to fix Windows 8 and 8.1 stuck on checking for updates. So what I mean by that, when you download Windows 8 or 8.1 and you go to check for Windows updates, you're gonna see that the checking for updates never stops. It will, it will stay on like that forever. If you let it for like one hour or even days, it won't stop. So in this video, I'm going to show you this really quick fix and I'm using a virtual machine or virtual box uh, and I'm using of course Windows 8.1 just to make this video. I know I could download it on my computer, my personal without um, virtual machine, but I'm pretty sure that it's a waste of time and a waste of applications and programs and files of course. So I'm um, going to go to this website right here, windowspro.eu. Of course, I'm going to have the, the link down in the description. So you don't have to type it out. Um, so here you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna click download um, on your on what bit you're using your computer. Uh, I use a 64-bit computer and I'm gonna download that. If you do not know what bit are you using, as you should know, you're gonna go to start settings, PC and devices, and PC info, and and it should say right here 64-bit operating system. So that if you see an X86, that means you're using a 32-bit system. So you're going to click download, and then we do not need that. And before you open it, we need to go to control panel. Just write control. Sorry for my bad typing. Control panel, there we go. Now go to system and security, Windows update. And here we're going to click check and change settings. And in the important updates, change that setting to never check for updates. Click OK. So why I did that? Because if I open uh, the file, let's say the file right here with this setting on, it's going to check for updates forever as it, as it would be right here. So if I open right now, it will tell me immediately if you want to install it. As you can see right here, you're going to click yes. It's going to install it. It's not going to take a while, at least less than a minute, I'm pretty sure. And I'm pretty sure it's going to require you to reboot the computer. So I'm going to wait for a bit right here. Come on, there we go. I'm going to click restart now. And the update is not going to take a long time. It's going to say 30% is going to be stuck like that for one minute. And you can just wait, as I said, it's not going to take more than five minutes, less than five minutes. So I'm going to see you when the update is done. Okay, guys, I'm back. The installation is done or the update as you want to say it. So right now we're going to go to start again. We're going to go to control panel. Here we go. I'm going to click system and security again go to Windows update. And you're going to change the setting again back to install update automatically. Click OK and you're going to automatically check for the update. So it's going to take about, I'm pretty sure, like three to four minutes again, less than five minutes. So I'm going to see you when the updates are shown. Hey guys, are back. As you can see, the updates are shown right here, 149 import updates and six optional so that makes up to 155 updates in total so if you see like 148 or 142 updates it doesn't really matter it's just because you haven't installed like the latest patches security patches and that so that's everything for today's guy for today guys um, thanks for watching like share subscribe and i'll see you in the, my next video see ya